Hello, friends and fellows of the internet. It's me, Chaz the Spaz, and I'm here to do a top 10 for the characters that I want for DLC in Smash. Now, please note that this reflects my who I personally want, and definitely not who I think is most likely, because who I think is most likely are, well, they're on this list, but they're they're not as high up as they would be if it were most likely. So number one is the are the Inklings from Splatoon. Now, they there are so many possibilities that they could have with the Inklings. They can be they can have like an Octarian skin. They can have a boy gr skin and a girl skin, and they can have them wearing like completely different clothes, like they like they do in the actual game. Or even better yet, you could customize the clothes that your Inkling wears, which would be awesome, but I pro it probably won't happen. Another thing is, they could be the first DLC characters to have uh, custom moves, because, I mean, they are they have such a diverse move pool to, to draw from in Splatoon, so I think that there's some potential there. And another thing, people say that the Inklings are going to be put in Smash 5, and Smash 5 is possible... But it's probably not going to happen. If you guys remember or know about what uh, Sakurai said <coughs> about how he doesn't like to sequelize all of his games and how he just doesn't like seeing all this um, all this remaking of a game just because it makes money and not because it's enjoyable. Number two is Wolf from the Star Fox series. <coughs> now, his moveset could basically be pre-programmed into Fox's custom moves, and I think that with Star Fox Zero coming out, I think that he could represent the villains of Star Fox pretty well, because he's a pretty dynamic character, and I think he's, he's interesting, and he was really cool <coughs> in Brawl and Project M, and I think they could put him into Smash 4. And... A lot of people are saying that you need more villains to have in Smash <coughs> and more heavy characters, and I completely agree with that. And I think Wolf would be a great character, great character to put in because Star Fox is pretty underrepresented on the character list. I mean, there are what like eight, at least eight characters from the Super Mario Bros. series, and and then Wolf, and then there are two characters from the Star Fox series. It I mean, Super Mario Bros. is kind of massive, but, I mean, there, there are more third-party representatives than there are for, for Star Fox, so I think that he would definitely be good. And he just looks really awesome. Like, this fan concept art is really good. Number three is sadly unlikely, and um, it's Snake. <coughs> now, he was one of basically everyone's favorites in Brawl, and he had a pretty interesting playstyle. I mean, he you could sit in the corner and camp, you could run around and plant land, landmines everywhere, but no matter how you look at it, Snake was pretty good, Brawl or Project M moveset. And he's kind of a comic character too. Like he with his taunts, he like hides in the box. And now I'm not sure if you can do this in Brawl, but I know in Project M you can. You you can when you take off the box, you can pick it up and throw it at people now i think that would be pretty funny and it kind of ties into uh how in the phantom pain you, if you go sliding down a hill in the in a cardboard box you can actually ki <coughs> kill people so i think that would be kind of funny um on to number four number four is samurai goro <coughs> now a lot of people probably don't know who this is he is essentially captain F falcon's rival and I think that he needs, that F-Zero needs to have better representation in Smash. Now, I'd say Ryu Suzaku could be put into Smash, but spoilers here. Um, at the end of the F-Zero anime, Captain Falcon reveals that whoever is able to, like, uh, I don't remember exactly what it is, who, anyone who is able to beat the Falcon or something like that can be the new Falcon. So it's kind of a title passed on. So I think Samurai Garo would be good. And 
F Zero is pretty un- underrepresented, considering like how many characters there are in the more recent F Zero games. And um, on to number five is Ryan from the Xenoblade Chronicles. Now it's kind of an offbeat series and character, but Xenoblade has a ton of viable characters. I mean, they have Dunban, Ricky, Ryan, Sharla, um, and I'm I don't know the characters from the new ones from the new Xenoblade that's coming out for the Wii U Xenoblade X, but I I I think it could, he uh, Ryan would be the best. I mean. He could be, like, a potentially heavy character with his, like, weird sword shield thing. And he could be pretty interesting in Smash. Now, the fact that he isn't even in Shulk's final Smash is really annoying because he's Shulk's best friend, and he's more significant than Dunban or Ricky in the game. So I feel like... And he and he's not even an assist trophy. So I feel like he could... And he wasn't made an, a Mii Fighter either, so I think he could be put into Smash. Number six is King K. Rool. Now, this is my personal list, so and um, he's probably a lot higher in actuality of li- in likelihood. And I think he could satisfy the need for more villains and heavy characters. And again, it's the same thing with Star Fox, where Donkey Kong Country and the Donkey Kong series doesn't have a villain in the game, and they don't really have any... Uh, they don't really have any uh, other villains that would work. I mean, the Tropical Freeze villains are, like, are two people, which I suppose could be kind of cool. It could be, like, kind of a Rosalina and Luma phenomenon. And um, the other villains were, like, weird tiki things from Donkey Kong Country Returns. So I think King K. Rool would be pretty good. And really, I mean, even if you don't put in a villain from Donkey Kong Country... What are you going to put in, like, uh, Cranky Kong? I mean, none of them will work, aside from King K. Rule. On to number seven. Number seven is Sceptile. Um, considering all 715 Pokemon, it's a surprise that there are only six representatives, and, and four of them are from Generation 1. And um, any Pokemon can really have a diverse moveset in Smash, but I thought, like, it would have to be a well-known Pokemon. Um, if, if I didn't have, like, the... Uh, the Generation 1 thing, I probably would have included Ivysaur or Squirtle in this list, um, because I really like Ivysaur and Brawl and Project M, but Sceptile, I think, would be better, because he's he's from Generation 3, and he's fairly recognizable. And he could, his Final Smash could be, like, the Mega Evolution, and, um, he could have, they could make him, they could make him kind of like a cross between uh, Squirtle and Ivysaur from Brawl. Number nine is, or number eight is Hades. And, um, he's from, uh, Kid Icarus Uprising, and he was a really good villain. He was, he had kind of a flair for the dramatic, he was really funny, he was kind of a troll. Um, he could, he could be really well done in Smash. I mean, he look he looks like he could end up being, like, a Ganondorf clone. Not a Captain Falcon clone, a Ganondorf clone. But on the other hand, he could be really well done. I mean, I don't even know what they could do, but they could do something. And he also satisfies the need for a villain or a heavy. And it's always good to have a troll character in Smash, no matter who. I mean, like, look at Duck Hunt. Now, no one really remembered. I mean, a lot of people knew about it, but it was, Duck Hunt wasn't really in our minds at all completely unexpected to be in Smash. And then they brought him in, so I think Hades has a chance. Number nine is Slippy Toad. Now, throughout the Star Fox series, he's kind of weak. He's like he's kind of like a little kid, but he's a technician. And even though he's always begging for Fox to save him, I think he could pull out a bunch of random gadgets and stuff to use on the battlefield. And he, And because of that reason, he could be really different from Fox or Falco or Wolf. And um, actually, in Star Fox Zero, or not Star Fox Zero, sorry, in Star Fox 64, he actually says in the um, second last level of the normal path, he says, Your carcass is mine. So I think that would be absolutely perfect for a taunt, especially considering how, like, kind of like a, how Slippy's kind of a little kid sometimes. So 
I think that would be awesome. And with Star Fox Zero coming out, Star Fox needs more stuff. So, yeah. And number 10 is Gengar. <coughs> now, I note that I already said that he that there are too many Gen 1 Pokemon, but I love Gengar. He's one of my favorite Pokemon of all time, up there with, like, Lucario and Infernape. And he could be really similar to Mewtwo, and he's he's pretty recognizable, too. And I think... They could make him really cool. I think they could try to try to kind of make him like a status move po character. Like one of his moves could make someone fall asleep, and then another one could make them. Uh, or another one could be like Dream Eater, where it heals him a little bit, but they have to be asleep for it to happen. Or he could even ma make them fall asleep, and then like that would like enable him to do a ton of damage. So I think Gengar would just be look really cool. Now. On to the news about the Smash Bros. So, with a whopping total of two votes, Banjo and Kazooie and Goku tied. Now, when I said characters, I meant actual video game characters. I didn't really mean characters that didn't originate from video games. But Captain Falcon kind of doesn't count because he's been in Smash or he's already in Smash. But, but Banjo and Kazooie, I think is has actually a really good chance to make it into smash goku is kind of iffy i mean nintendo did say it was video game characters so that also means no spongebob no shrek um none of that stuff i mean i personally would prefer banjo and kazooie but the ballot results are in and you guys should vote and um eventually i'll decide a winner based on who gets more votes so Start voting. And uh, thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe. And for if you if you liked this top 10, please comment. Um, tell me what you want to see. I don't really know what I should do. Because <coughs> the Elgato's kind of confusing and weird to work with. So I can do Smash. I can do Splatoon. I can, I can basically do any Wii U game or most... Well, most Wii U games, anyone that I have, and um, m some Xbox games. And if you guys want to see like more top tens, like who's most likely to be in Smash, or my top ten favorite characters in Smash, anything like that, please tell me. Thanks for watching.